in a video has been circulating showing a commotion uh, at the council chambers of Eguruleni where the former mayor Mzwandi Lemasina is seen uh, being uh, pulled out uh, by uh, what seems like uh, metro police uh, and others who are not in uniform at this particular point in time. We just spoke to uh, the former mayor and he of course maintains that he was manhandled for no apparent reason and uh, he is opening a case against the mayor, the speaker uh, and uh, of course the chief of police. To get more clarity on today's event, I'm now joined by the Eguruleni speaker, Raymond Lamini. Speaker, good evening and thank you very much for your time and joining us uh, tonight here on in focus uh, from the eye of the public what we are seeing uh, is a, a member of the council being removed by uh, Metro police in a manner that to us indicates that he must have really committed quite a severe offense uh, for him to be removed in such a way what led to the uh, Metro uh, police being called into the council chambers yeah, no, thank you very much. Uh, good evening, Tabo, and also the listeners. Yeah, indeed, today it was a hectic day, very, very hectic encounter, and we end up in, uh, seeing that chaos happened in council. Uh, the reason being that we end up removing uh, Alderman uh, Masina and Alderman Labat in council, because those are the two councillors. Uh, that they requested to be, to leave the council. Unfortunately, they could not uh, hear what I was explaining to them to say, look, you cannot in terms of the rule 67 of the standing order, you must always respect the speak of council. So unfortunately, the councillor might not engage in a debate and argument with the speaker of council and council meeting. So unfortunately, we had those debates and trying to explain to them to say this is a situation that we have to go. But before we go them, so this thing started early in the morning when it was a debate because yesterday it was a, a soccer and today it was a debate. So we debated, the debated, and you can see that the spirit of Ubuntu working together with the ANC is not there. They were there just to disrupt, disrupt, disrupt. So we keep on calling orders and orders and orders. So unfortunately, when we are done with the debate, so we have to go to the business of agenda. Unfortunately, I could not take it anymore uh, because when I look at Alderman Massina, I see the former mayor is is well respected and he has to lead by an example. Uh, uh, Alderman Labati is a former speaker, is a former chief whip, is also must lead by an example. So for them to react in a manner of not listening to the speaker. Uh, even if I rule on a matter, they still want to engage on that matter. So with that itself, I said, I had enough, then I have to call uh, the, the, uh, the, 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 the unit to come in. The unit in terms of the Rule 68, Rule 66 of the standing orders, there, stating straight, the Speaker of Council at any time during the meeting, if he or she deems it's necessary for the maintain of order and direct in council, protection service, uh, you might call them to remove of any person or person. So that's what we did. We removed two of them, Mzwandi uh, Lemasin and Labatis. Unfortunately, the whole caucus decided to fall. Thank you. Uh, uh, now, uh, let, uh, let's talk then about, uh, firstly, that uh, order of events, as you put it. Uh, according to Councillor Masina, you, you were still busy with the debate. You had not actually gone into the meeting as yet and during the debate he was uh, raising questions for the mayor which he says he had given to the mayor prior but uh, it seems uh, those questions were not forwarded to the relevant people who were supposed to have been addressing and dealing with those questions no that is unfortunately untrue because that is what made me to to remove um uh, Lemasina. Uh, I apologize. It is because of based of that, those notes when he's saying that, where are those responses? We want to see them. And I asked the officials, and the officials are stating that, yes, indeed, we did receive the response yesterday. The response is on our side, on the legislature side. The executive did respond accordingly. And I come in and said, 
because of we have the response on our side. We should not entertain that matter. I'm making a ruling. Can we move to the next item? So unfortunately, because you can see that they're still bitter, they don't want to accept that they are no longer in power, and they have to start learning to be on the opposition side. And being on the opposition side, it, you have to assist the, the government of, of the day how you should run the city, not to disrupt. But what they are doing is that they are disrupting uh, the business of the day. It is important for them to understand that the more they disrupt the council, at the end of the day, the community are the one that they have to suffer because the items, the items speaking, uh, speaking with people of the city of Fikurulain, not individual, as he thinks that he's still the mayor, and he's no longer a mayor. He has to accept that. So what, what then is the issue around these questions? Why could, could they not be addressed? I mean, his view is that he's got evidence that those questions actually never even left uh, to, to, to get to the legislature or the responses, uh, rather. Uh, they, they're saying if you look at email communication, uh, those uh, questions were really never, ever addressed. There was really no response whatsoever to them. No, it's unfortunately, it's, it is weird and someone is weird. It's unfortunate I'm sitting with the, with the legal advisor. I was sitting with the legal team. That's where the answers might, the, they should go, which we did receive. I'm sitting with the officials in my table. And you see, Tabo, the problem is that each and everything that we are doing, the ANC, they feel strong that they are entitled of everything. And I keep on uh, reminding them to say for, to, for us to take the city forward. We need to work together as the multi-party uh, uh, virus political parties in council. But for them, when they walk in in council, think that it's only their ideas that will be able to take the city forward. Then they are wrong. And if the people have spoken, including the council, they have spoken, they voted the way the inner men of they voted, and they gave us that mandate to say, you as a coalition partner, you'll go in, you'll make sure you deliver the service to the people. I responded to Mzwai, to Alam and Mzwandila to say, we, I have answers. I have no, I have nothing to protect uh, the executive mayor. She sent those questions. We saw them. I even turned the laptop to say, the answers are here. So you can see just the bitterness of wanting that chair in a wrong way. You know the processes of if you want to become a mayor, what you have to do, but not the way how they behave, how they do things, how they hold the council ransom. We're not going to accept that. We have serious issues that we have to address in the city of Ekurulen. Speaker, appreciate your time. Thanks so much for coming on. DA Agrulini Speaker there, Raymond Lamini, uh, responding then uh, to this question. Of course, this is a matter that uh, the former mayor say he's now taking to the police and will be opening a case uh, tomorrow, a story that, uh, of course, we'll continue to be looking at.